Kenyatta, Your Excellency the First Lady, Mrs. Margaret Kenyatta, Your Excellencies, Visiting Heads of State and Government, Your Excellency the Deputy President, Dr. William Ruto, Your Excellency Mrs. Rachel Ruto, Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, um, today my heart feels very heavy. Um, it has been quite an arduous week and today I woke up with um, a tremendous sense of sadness and loss and I did not know whether I would be able to speak but because as a family we have been told wherever somebody has shown you kindness or done something good for you you have to express your gratitude I stand here on behalf of my family my immediate family and the entire Kibaki family to say first of all we are very grateful to you your excellency for all the care the love you have shown to our father from the day he retired in 2013 up to this moment. Mze has not wanted for anything. Your government has assisted him in everything that he has required. Indeed, in, the, in his latter years, in his final years, when uh, his medical condition um, was deteriorating you personally ensured that he had access to the best medical care in Kenya and indeed in the world and for that we are truly grateful your excellency of course we have had our hiccups over the last nine or ten years in looking after Mze but where we got stuck the mere threat of suggesting that we are going to give you a call for further guidance would ensure that whatever was requested by the family or by Mze was done quite expeditiously. Secondly, as a family, we would like to thank His Excellency, the Deputy President, Dr. William Ruto, who has called us and even asked his staff to call us since uh, Mze passed away on Friday and they have really sought to help us and to condole with us and to see if they can be as of assistance in any way. Thirdly, we'd like to thank the armed forces of the Republic of Kenya. You know, when Mze passed away one week ago last Friday, the military immediately took over operations at Nairobi Hospital and at Lee Funeral Home. So for us as a family, it was almost like a double loss. We had just lost to Mze. And then an hour later, um, the military took over and took Mze to Lee Funeral Home where they prepared him. But I must say, the professionalism and care shown by the armed forces of this country have enabled us actually to mourn Mze and to honor him in a way that we, in which we are truly humbled. I have met colonels, I have met brigadiers, indeed I have even been saluted by generals and I remember when I was walking into parliament buildings where Mze was lying in state on Tuesday and I was saluted by so many military officers I started thinking wow you know is this what it is all about you know I can kind of get used to this maybe I'll give it a try but Having said that, the military 
in their own professional way because I must say it must be the most professional institution in this country. They have really assisted us to understand that even if Mze was their commander-in-chief, he was first and foremost our father. So, General Kiboshi, as a family, we say, Asante San. Finally, but most importantly, we, the Kibaki family, would like to thank our fellow Kenyan citizens who have come out to honor Muse, to mourn with us, to grieve with us, to condole with us, and to tell us Pole. We have met so many Kenyans on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday when Muse was lying in state. And we have listened to, to, you know, to stories of how he was their father, their grandfather. Somebody they related with, like, uh, you know, anyone would relate with a parent or a grandparent. And we realized as a family that the loss was as great for Kenyans as it was for us. And that, in its own way, comforted us. I remember thinking, if, you know, at one point, because on Wednesday there were so many people queuing in line, if Mze was just to wake up for one minute, I think you'd even wonder, what, what, where are all these Kenyans going? What, what, where, they are coming to look at me, to see me. Why are they not at work? You know? You'd have probably told us all, because for him, work was very important. If there is one word that can encapsulate the life of President Mwai Kibaki, it is excellence. Mze lived to excel. From the minute, or should we say the moment, he left Gatiaini village in Odaya to begin his education, up to the day he retired as president of this country, that journey has been a journey to excel. And excelling does not always mean succeeding, but it means trying your best. And what Mze inspires us to do is to do our best. So, as Kenyans, as we send this great lion of Kenya to rest beside his beloved wife. Let us dedicate ourselves to excel for Kenya. You see, Mze loved Kenya and Kenyans with a passion that most Kenyans don't know. And it is that love and passion that almost you know, enabled him to dedicate his life to this country. Mze dedicated 53 years or 54 years of his life, more than half a century, in the service of Kenyans. So we can see by the example of his life that he was the ultimate Kenyan patriot. Your Excellency, those of you, or those of us who understand the dynamics between President Kibaki and you, we know that Mze was very, very fond of you. Very, very fond of you. In fact, your relationship was the relationship between a father and a son. There are times I would watch the TV evening news with him at 7 o'clock. And when the news came on, you'd, you'd even start dozing when some politicians came on. And when, you know, you'd, you'd even turn to me and say, Jimmy, you know, this fellow has been speaking for 10 minutes and there's nothing he has told us. And you'd go back to dozing. 
But when you came on the screen, you would sit upright and listen very keenly. And after whatever function you are with or at, you would turn to me and say, good man or good fellow. And for those of you, us who knew President Mike Kibaki well, we knew when he said something like that, that was the ultimate praise. He, he could not say more than that. If the measure of patriotism is one service to the country, then President Mwai Kibaki was a great son of Kenya. I want to thank you all for this tribute. We are overwhelmed and we are very grateful. Thank you.